Well, Jonathan Rivlin, one of our members, brought the information to us about Matthew. And I took one of the books that Jonathan had brought back and I read it. And I was fascinated by the topic because Matthew brings a world of information about marketing and the sales side. And a lot of accountants aren't very good salespeople, but they're really good accountants. The reason it's so difficult is most of us are introverted people rather than being extroverted. So it's, uh, it's a great opportunity to learn that because they don't really teach us how to do sales while we're in college. So when we graduate and we start working, we're expected to learn that on our own. And a lot of times when people decide to start their own practice or, or acquire a practice, that's the thing that they struggle with the most is getting out there, getting their name known to everybody and selling their services. So for years, um, I have been listening to Zig Ziglar on my phone and I have several of his books. And when I get into a slump about something, I'll re-listen to one of his books or something like that. Well, Matthew's book has replaced my Zig Ziglar in my motivating me when I'm in a slump. And it isn't always that you take away the message. It's that it gets into your head that you can do this, that you're capable of doing it. And that's the point that Matthew gets across. And, uh, or at least that's the message he got across to me. Um, and now uh, Matthew's Introvert's Edge has become my go-to book when I need to pick me up. I have a tendency to be quiet when thing when I'm out there exploring a new opportunity or something like that. And that's when you want to be uh, polished and shining brightly so that the people notice you and that you command their attention and their respect right off the bat. Um, so I guess that was probably the number one takeaway I got from his book. Even when you're a really good salesperson or really good technical person, you get into slumps and we need to be able to get out of those slumps. I think it's important to be real and be who you are because nobody wants to talk to the used car salesman. This gives you an opportunity to be genuine, to get to know the person, um, let the person know that you're genuine, that you really care for them, getting the message across.